Hello, my pals. This is Holly, or Quiet Unicorn. If you want to follow me on Roblox, back for Magic Show number two, the sequel to Magic Show number one, which you should also watch. And our story begins where I hoped it would, in a dark, creepy forest next to a bonfire. It's 11 p.m., and I think that this is our friend Harry, the magician from Magic Show number one. But what has he been up to? I hope that we're about to find out. Harry says... The book was burned. It's over. He burned the book of magic spells. He says, I can't believe that I am finally free. He, you were in that forest for a really long time. Maybe I should find my family now. Oh my gosh, your family. They'll probably be so excited to see you. I really want to see my mom. And I'm sure that she wants to see you too, Harry. And my brothers. Oh my gosh, they're going to be all grown up now. It's been like 20 years. Uh, what is happening? Mm, something weird is going on with the fire. Harry? <gasps> it just went dark. Harry? You are good, bud? You all good? Oh, happy music. Ba -da 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 -ba -ba. Ooh, okay, it's daytime and something new is happening. Why did we exit the forest? Ooh, it's 10 a.m. Cool. Is this like the next day, day before? Are we going in a little flashback? Ooh, not quite sure what's happening, but looks like we've got a few new characters. Who have we got here? We will be back in three days, says Mom. Mom looks pretty cool in her jean jacket there. Uh, don't forget to feed Larry. Take care of the house and eat. Eat what? Just eat generally? Take care of the house and eat. Oh, it's me. We know we're not kids anymore. I'm actually super mature and I am very, very happy to feed Larry and look after the house. Dad says, also be careful. Don't let strangers enter the house. Mom says, Goodbye, sweeties. Bye, Mom. Enjoy your trip. And don't worry about anything. Goodbye. Have a nice trip. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that I am going to be home alone. I am in charge of the entire house for the entire weekend. And that means we are having cookie dough for breakfast, cookie dough for lunch, and cookie dough for dinner. Actually, that'll probably make me sick. Uh, okay, maybe I will have to rethink some of the responsibility and power I have as um, the person in charge of the house this week. Oh, wow, I've already got my friends over. <laughs> All right, having a little bit of a party. Oh, there we go. There's Larry. <laughs> Mom and dad went on a trip. Oh, it's just Larry. That means we are free for three days. Oh my gosh, maybe these are my siblings. I have a huge family. I like, I would just keep saying at the bottom, it's just Larry. It's like, it's not just Larry. Larry is not just a fish. He's part of the family. Wow, I wonder what's in here. Oh, need a key to open that. Just doing a small explore of the house. Lots of cool things for me to check out here. Oh wow, I just found some cash and some cheese. Wow, I like how there's so many things in this game that you can interact with. That's pretty cool. Preheat the oven, maybe. Oh, nope, that looks like fire. Um, Can we turn that off, maybe? Yeah, I don't think mom and dad would like it if I burned down the house like 10 minutes after they left for the airport. That would be a bit awkward. All right, looks like we got... Oh, it's like a dormitory up here. <gasps> and I found some old cash. Don't know why I'm finding so much cash all over the house. Maybe I'll save up this cash and then I can buy a special treat for all of my siblings. Let me know in the comment section what kind of treaty I should buy for everyone with all of my cash. What do we got on the TV? Oh, the news. Sorry, not to buy, but let's check out something else. Like this picture of a mallard. Ooh, or this workbench where I can make crafts. Oh my gosh, it's like a crafting table. <gasps> okay, that's a bit cool. Maybe I can make a key. Oh, look, it's some of my friends. It is my friend Emily, and she's saying hello to me. Hello, my friend. I am glad that you are here with me for magic story number two, because my gosh, I think that things are going to get pretty hairy pretty soon, and we're going to have to stick together. So, so glad that you are here. Um, and anyone noticed that there is a key fragment just here in the corner? Perhaps we should take it. Love that my buds are kind of wearing matching outfits. Super cute. I love your outfits. You look so great. I think I just need to find one more key fragment and then we'll be able to craft ourselves a key and open the basement, which is pretty exciting. Oh, Lila says, it's getting late. What about we play soccer? Ooh, that does sound like a good idea. Let's play something before the sun goes down. This game of soccer is brought to you by my star code, Cunicorn, which you can use when you're purchasing Robux if you want to support my channel. And now back to the game. Wait a second, is the game over already? I thought we were just starting. 
if this is halftime or if that was just the world's shortest game of soccer, but I guess the sun is almost going down and mom and dad always like it if we can be home before the streetlights go on, so maybe we should start heading back to the house. Although, looks like a little toy store is open and what's with this manhole cover? I can't open it. Maybe I should use a crowbar. Hmm, that is interesting. Oh, should I really be collecting cash off the <laughs> counter at this store? Um, hmm, okay. Um, Lila says, it's getting late. Yeah, that's right, Lila. We should probably think about heading home. Back at the old homestead, Amiro says, looks like there's a magic show outside. Oh my gosh, a magic show? Lila's like, we should definitely go there. I mean, if there's a magic show happening right outside your house, it's like, how can I resist? <gasps> Look at this, how convenient. A stage set up right across the road and chairs for all of us? Oh my gosh, what kind of magic will unfold here? I'm sure that nothing could go wrong at this magic show. That has not historically been the case. Oh, a full moon set in the scene. Little bit spooky. Okay, where is our magician? It is time for a dramatic entrance. Harry, where are you? Oh, there he is up on stage. It's our boy. Okay, so um, I hope this time he's not up to anything evil. Oh, he's got a little smirk on his face. Don't know about that. Oh, that's not Harry at all. It's Ethan. Ethan's like, welcome everyone to the best magic show of your lives. My name is Ethan and I am the best magician in this city. Hmm, I don't think that Harry's gonna like that. Can I have some applauses? Ethan, my guy, you haven't done anything yet. Yeah, crickets. Oh my gosh, did someone just leave the server? <laughs> Oop, now we've gone and done it. Ethan looks pretty mad. Oh, he's like, ugh, whatever. It's like, bud, just start the show, you know? Let's start the show. There we go, he's got a happy little smile back on his face. He says, what about some fireworks? I mean, it's cool. I don't know if I would call it magic exactly, but okay. Yeah, I mean, summoning fireworks from behind you. I guess that's a bit cool, but I don't know. I feel like that could be non-magic. I don't think it really counts as magic, but you know, it's a, it's a good it's a good start, I guess. Ethan's like, all right, now for my first trick, I will need a volunteer. What about you? Adopt me, real life two five three. Yeah, go on, get up on stage. Ethan's like, come here and. What's that noise? Wait a second. What is this sound? I think it might be something falling. Uh, watch out. Uh, can we look up? Uh, camera. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Was that a, a meteorite? <gasps> Ethan, Ethan, are you okay? Ethan's like, ugh. Oh, I think he's injured. What? What just happened? Oh my gosh, there's fireballs everywhere. There's somebody on the stage. Um. A person? Wait, it wasn't a meteorite at all. It was a person falling from the sky. Do you think it's our friend Harry? Hmm, okay. This mystery is getting a little spicy. Hey, we're back at home. What on earth just happened? Who is this guy? Oh, it looks like we've brought him back to our house. I don't know if it was a good idea helping him. What do you mean? He fell from the sky. Oh, yeah. I'm like, Dad said not to let strangers enter the house. But... Surely he would make an exception for a medical emergency. Oh, he's waking up. Hello? Are you okay? I teleported so fast. Did I destroy anything? Wait a second. Did you just say teleported? Um, sir, tell me more about the teleportation. Wow. Uh, yeah, you did destroy something. Ethan's like, my show. Poor Ethan. It was his first big day. Uh, nah. Nah, nothing important. Um, Lila's like, by the way. Who are you? I don't remember. I hit my head really hard. Yeah, you hit your head on the stage <laughs> really hard. All I know is that I can use magic and was fighting with a demon. Ooh, okay, so you know actually quite a bit. Interesting. Um, a demon? Turn the TV on. Oh no, not the news. Is there gonna be something on the news? Uh-oh, breaking news. Shadow creatures are appearing all over the world. This just in. Some shadow creatures are appearing all over the world. Ooh, that does sound a bit scary. The police are trying to take care of the situation. Uh, and they are investigating where these monsters are coming from. Oh, okay. So it's recommended to everyone to stay home until further instructions arrive. Wow, okay, shadow people. 
Not exactly what I was expecting to see on the news, but uh, there you go. Uh, my friend Violet says, what is happening? Uh, our visitor says, I burned a book and a demon was set free. And now he is turning everyone into these monsters. Shadow monsters. And I can't do nothing about it since I am hurt and my memories are kind of blurry. Can I sleep here until I get better? This is the only thing I will ask. Mm, I don't believe that, actually. <laughs> I think you're going to ask other things. Uh, yes, I will trust you. All right, stranger, I'm going to trust you. But if you turn out to be a shadow person, I swear I will make you sleep in a lumpy bed. I'll make you dinner, but no dessert. Uh, oh, um, I say, yes, you can stay here, but just for one night. Thanks, I will sleep on the couch. Don't worry about me. Well, why would I worry about the person with amnesia who fell out of the sky and is fighting demons? Nothing to worry about there. Oh, look, he's asleep already. I guess fighting demons does really take it out of you. This'll probably be fine. Okay, day two. Do we think he's going to leave? Or do we think he's going to find a reason to stay? Ugh, he makes so much noise while sleeping. Wait, where did he go? I mean, he did say he was only going to stay one night. Looks like there is something in the kitchen. It's a note. Okay, let's go read it. Quickly, we can find out where he's gone. Oh, and we can't forget to feed Larry. Gotta feed Larry. Okay, let's read it. Yeah, read. Thanks for letting me stay the night. I bought a Bloxy Cola for you all. Uh, I still don't remember my name. Well, hadn't considered how hard it would be to sign a letter if you have no idea who you are. Uh, ooh, a Bloxy Cola for me. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're liking this video and you haven't already subscribed. Come become a unicorn. All right. Hey, missing. Mr. George, the cat. I wonder if that has anything to do with our current mystery. I'll just uh, pack that away in the old brain box for later, and maybe I'll head over to Bacon's Market, pick up some breakfast for the crew. Or maybe we can see if Mr. Bacon has any information about what's going on. Lila says, what strange weather? Let's check out the news on TV. Well, I want to know. Have you heard about the shadow monsters? Mr. Bacon's like, no, me what's working. Well, you should be careful. They can come for you. Me not afraid of monsters. Monsters doesn't exist. Um, lol, sir, have you watched the news lately? We are literally surrounded by shadow monsters. Oh, that's weird. Our TV isn't working. Uh, I think we should stay home for the rest of the day, says Lila, probably not realizing that I am currently not home. <laughs> Just down at uh, Mr. Bacon's market, and I didn't actually gain any information here other than the fact that Mr. Bacon does not believe in monsters. Violet says, it has been one hour Everyone disappeared. What is happening? Oh, uh, I mean, maybe they're just all inside. Wait, looks like there's someone outside. Yeah, there's someone on the stage. Um, what, we're just gonna go out there. Okay, uh, looks like we're just going out here. Is it Harry? Or Ethan? Is the guy who lost his memory? Or, or, yeah, Ethan? Are you okay? I think he's either very sad or he's become a shadow monster. So many months to prepare the show. So much time spent practicing. Yeah, it was, it was a lot of time that you put in there. For nothing. I mean, it wasn't nothing. It was kind of like a, like a dress rehearsal. I don't know. Fortunately, says Ethan, the true show, oh, I'm scared, is just about to start. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, that seems like shadow monster behavior to me. Oh my gosh, he's levitating. That is a good trick, Ethan. All of that practicing you did, it was actually totally worth it. And I think that you're doing a great job. And um, the show, it's amazing. Oh my gosh. Um, But you know, you can, uh, now that we've seen the full extent of your powers, you can just stop anytime. Just feel free to, oh, stop anytime. Okay, Ethan, the corrupted magician. He has a lot of health but we are going to defeat him. I'm gonna get up here with my wooden sword. Or maybe I could attack him with my block of cheese. Oh, oh, whoa. Wow, he's strong. This could take a while. Eventually. Uh, not bad, says Ethan with his toothy, pointy smile. Not bad at all. Yeah, you like that, Ethan? Let's see if you can handle this. Oh no, what is it? What is it now? Oh, he's doing something. Oh my gosh, explosions everywhere. Just gotta survive. Oh no! Oh my gosh, that was a real close one. Oh my gosh, I just gotta stay one step ahead. How much longer can I survive this? Eventually. 
Why are you so strong? If only my sword wasn't made out of wood, maybe this would go a little bit faster. Should I try the cheese? The deadly cheese? Maybe Ethan is allergic to dairy. This could be the secret weapon we've been waiting for. But maybe I'll just stick to the sword. You know, don't want to waste good opportunities on bashing him in the head with a block of cheese. Ah, 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 says Ethan. But you won't be laughing for long. Oh my gosh, maybe he will. <laughs> if he manages to take me out. There's not very many of us left. Mom and Dad are going to be so upset when they find out that some of us have been exploded by Ethan the Corrupted Magician. That was not one of the approved activities for the weekend. All right, come on, Emily. We can do this. Just keep chopping at that shadow. It's like he's astral projecting out of his body or something. Oh, yeah, come on, Amber. Yes, the girls are going to finish him. Oh, my gosh, I think he's... I think we did it. Ethan's like, what? Yeah, that's right. I cannot believe I was defeated. Well, believe it, baby, you are done. Oh, oh he says, it doesn't matter. I will be back stronger. Oh, you're going to disappear? Oh, yeah, he did a little disappear. Okay, it's good magic. He's gone. By gosh, I better kiss my lucky cheddar. I feel stronger already. Wow, that is some thunder. Okay, we should probably head inside. I don't want to get too soaking wet. Oh no, it's raining in the house! There must be a leak in the- Oh, no, it just stopped. Outside is not safe anymore, I say as I drink my Bloxy Cola. Hey, hey, everyone, come in! I just- I just said outside is not safe anymore. Wait, where are you going? Why would you stay outside when we've specifically said it's not safe- Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh no! Oh, I think I just had my first encounter with a shadow person. Okay. Day three. Another day, says Lila. I wish I could see mom and dad. Whoa, yeah. Have we thought about calling them? Oh, there's someone at the door. Mom? Dad? Wait, it's not going to be mom or dad. Why would they ring the doorbell? <gasps> it's that guy, says Lila. Yeah. Oh, he's just let himself in. Um, okay. So... He's like, I couldn't do anything. That demon is just too powerful. Also, everyone in the world has already become a monster. Uh, what? That is terrible news. You are the only ones remaining. Wow. Violet's like, it's all your fault. Why did you have to destroy that book? I am sorry, says our mystery man. But I used a spell to protect you guys. That's why you're all fine. Oh, well, if it's that simple, why didn't you protect everyone okay looks like there is no choice besides trusting you i sure hope i don't regret this okay i explained to him what happened with ethan all right so what do you think thoughts thoughts on this our mystery friend says so we didn't become a monster and got powers that could happen because he was angry and seeking for revenge. All right, that's pretty specific. This kind of feeling can be dangerous. Hmm, certainly can. And not just in a magical sense, kind of in your personal life. Anyways, I will stay here until I think about a plan to stop that demon. Okay, I will also be thinking about a plan to stop that demon. I wonder what it could be. Oh my gosh, can we like close the door or something? I feel a little bit uncomfortable. Do you want to know about anything? Uh, yeah, tell me about the demon. That demon is a big problem. He is strong, fast, and powerful. Tell me more. However, I think there is a way to beat him. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Uh-oh, he looks sad. I feel the demon coming. He is near us. Ooh, okay. That ain't good. He knows we are the last ones alive. Alrighty, what are we supposed to do about that? We should make a choice. What kind of choice? Stay home and wait or... No, fight the demon. Fight the demon. Get this over with. You know what, whatever your name is, I'm not just going to sit around and wait to become a demon's dinner. I am going to go out there and fight, he says. So I, we will fight him. I guess this is the only option. Yeah, it's like we fight him now or we fight him later. Oh, three hours later. Back at the magic show where all of this began. I'm like, the rain stopped. Ooh, is that a good sign or a bad sign? Our mate says, he will come anytime. Be careful. <gasps> oh no, there he is. I think he's appearing. Oh, that is some demon. Yeah, that's a shadow monster. The last ones are here, says the demon. Give up and become my servants. 
Shunt, I'm afraid. That sounds terrible. Never! We will fight against you! Yeah, that's right. Me and this guy. This is the end for you, demon. Be prepared, because we won't give up easily. Yeah, that's right. Look at my... Oh! Oh! <gasps> oh no! I know your tricks. You won't escape this time. Oh, that's not good. What? I think he has been stabbed. Oh no! Does that mean that he's going to become a demon? Are you okay? Mystery man? This can't be the end! Without you, it will be impossible to fight! You have to be strong! Come, oh, this is not the end! Is he becoming a demon or is he doing magic or... <gasps> I transferred my power to you! To me! Fight him and win! Oh my gosh, I'm powerful! The demon says, interesting! So you still want to fight? Okay, this will be fast. Uh, don't be so confident, Mr. Demon, because I am actually full of magic. And also I've got a wooden sword, so oh my gosh. Ooh, that's a pretty neat trick you got there. With your little, oh no, oh no! Oh no, 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 it's too fast! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, it's really fast. How am I supposed to get out of the way of this thing? Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, okay. This is pretty intense. Wait, when do I get to use my magical powers? I want to start making swords fall from the sky. When is, when is it my turn? I think I just got like one swipe in there and then he... Oh, look! <gasps> yes! Choppy choppy! Yeah, that's right. Oh my gosh, my wooden sword really is not doing a whole lot there. Although, I mean, plus a little bit of health. This is gonna take a while, isn't it? <laughs> Gotta say, I am a little bit concerned that I seem to be the only person here fighting the demon. Like, does that mean that literally all of my friends and siblings who were at the house when this whole adventure started, that they've all perished? That they've all turned into shadow monsters? It's just like, too much to bear and mom and dad are gonna be so upset and oh my gosh i forgot to feed larry <gasps> this is worse than i thought okay i'm gonna be grounded for a real long time i mean maybe if i defeat this demon and save the world i don't know maybe they'll be a little bit more forgiving okay give up says the demon even with this power you can't beat me we will see i say because I have this feeling that I am going to get there in the end. Oh my gosh, but I gotta, really gotta be fast. Eventually. Boink, 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 boink. Boom. Cool. Are we getting there? This is not right. I can't lose to humans. Well, you, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, sending your shadow people after me. This is so not right. You can't even fight your own battles. You gotta get your shadow people to do it for you. And oh my gosh, okay, there's a lot going on here. <laughs> a lot going on, and I'm noticing that I don't have a whole lot of health left. Oh yeah, there we go. Definitely revive. Are you kidding? I am so close to the end. Revive, 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 quickly. Get me back in the game. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it didn't even give me full health. That is so rude. Okay, it's fine. I am going to get there in the end. Boink, boink, boink. Maybe he'll just get tired of being boinked in the head and give up forever. <gasps> Ooh, this will be my final attack. Be prepared to die. You're all talk. You know what, demon? You are all talk, and I am sick of it. And the next time I get up onto that little platform, I am finishing you with my wooden sword. I am going to smash you. Just you wait. Come on. Come on. What? Says the demon. Yeah. I used all my powers. Oh my gosh, this is my chance? My body is not responding. I think it is my chance. I gotta get up there. This is the end. Oh, wait a second. I don't even get to deal the final blow? Come on. Oh, so what, is he dead or? Oh my gosh, my friend. You did it. 
That demon won't be a problem again. Well, he's pretty cheerful for someone who has been stabbed so recently. Everyone will be back to normal now. Thank goodness. Also, there is something I want to say. I wonder if he's going to say that I should become a magician too. Wait, I got all my memories back and... <gasps> what did you remember? My name is Harry. I knew it. I knew that was our friend Harry. Harry? Like my old brother that disappeared long ago? Oh, I forgot that he was my brother. Oh, forgot that the whole story. I knew you would remember me. Don't tell him I forgot. Harry, I missed you so much. I am sorry for what I said before. Wow, why didn't I recognize my own brother? Harry's like, it's okay. Thanks, Harry. Thanks for understanding. A long time ago, when you disappeared, mom and dad decided to move on and come to this city. Yeah, there were just too many bad memories following us around. They got really sad, but they never gave up searching for you. Never! Not ever! That's actually maybe even what they're doing right now. Maybe this holiday was uh, just a bit of a, a search party or something. Harry says, that's good to hear. He's very emotional. It's been a really, really long time. They are coming here now, but I won't see them. What do you mean you won't see them? My time has come, and I won't survive. <gasps> Uh-oh, the stabbins. I think it got him. No, you will be okay. I say, thanks, but there is nothing you can do. What about some magic? Can't we use magic? Maybe, maybe I can learn a spell or... Harry says, just say goodbye to mom and dad for me. Say goodbye to them. All right, Harry, I can do it. Oh, no. Harry! Oh, I gotta carry him inside. Harry? Harry, you still with us, bud? Yeah, looks like we're fading out. Three months later. What's gonna happen three months later? I wonder if I'm a famous magician now. Oh, mom's crying. Harry, says mom through tears. We should be proud of him, says dad. He was a true hero. It's true. Without him, I don't know if we'd be here. Ethan says... I need to admit, this guy was better than me. Oh my gosh, Ethan, you don't need to make this all about you, bud. Wow, look at this. Don't worry, Harry. We will always remember you. And that is Magic Show 2. The story of Harry and demons and my brave heroism. Okay, bye.